What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Vault. That's right, we're here on the Crystal Isles plane with Pugnacia Dinos. We're in episode 12 of the new season, and man, I have been a busy little bee today. Yep, you may notice it already. Check this out check out our balcony or is, is it called balcony deck i don't even know patio it's so insanely cool yes i've been extremely busy working on the new base place it's still got a long way to go but i'm getting a lot of the harder part out of the way getting in all the foundations and i think it is looking absolutely awesome of course a lot of this stuff like all these walls the glass is just placeholders for now showing where walls likely will go and of course we're going to want to have a lot of glass so we can look out on this beautiful view but it's pretty sweet i ripped up the ruins i've got all of our crafting tables and everything at least for now just putting this little section out of the way so it won't interfere with our building but i am totally totally digging it and yes we're going with the uh adobe theme of course this isn't true adobe these are actually metal Yep, actually metal, but with S+, plus, we're able to make them look like anything we want. Look, at, I could make it look like it's all thatch, if we so chose. So it's pretty sweet. Let's see, Adobe. Very nice. I am digging it. I am loving it. Last episode, me and Froggy Man, we hung out, and we tamed up, what, the tumultuous sabers, the electric, the lightning gods. They are absolutely amazing. Yep destroy all the face i'm digging it and yep now part of our saber squad holy crud i parked these guys too close together can i get out no let me out bro all right eventually i'll be able to get out on on one of these here we go all right i got out very cool but i am loving having all of our dinos laid out so i don't know pretty sweet pretty sweet indeedy Anyway, I'm still trying to figure out a couple things. Should we do multi-layer? Should we have it all be at the same exact height? I don't know. These are things I'll figure out on my own and, you know, show off at the beginning of every episode. Hopefully from here on out till we're done. Really want to make sure that we get going on building. Anyway, um, today, the tame. I want to check out another primal. So far, we got the primal giganto, which is the Bigfoot. Um, I think today, probably the primal trike is what I want to go after. Um, for a couple different reasons. One is so that we can have its special cannon ability to try and knock out a rock golem. Rock golems would be amazing. I'm still running low on that cementing paste and just uh, rocks in general. You got to use so much of it in bug. You have to make so much uh, cementing paste, but also a lot of spark powder. So stones just need needed a lot. And I'm thinking about maybe trying to get a rock on them into the future. We got a pre-plan. So until then, our best way of doing that is probably with a primal trike. Now there may end up being, I can't remember if the primal trike can also harvest metal and stuff. You know, like in Pug, the normal trike, I kind of forgot about this too. The normal trike can harvest like metal and stuff, which is super sweet. We totally should have got one early on, just forgot about it. Just went straight for the Anklo, but I'm hoping there might be the possibility that the Primal Trike can also do that. It might not. I don't know. It would just be a bonus if it did. Either way, I think it should be a fun and cool creature. Either of you Primals? The Primal ones, other than having the glow, they'll have cannons that come off the head. It's super sick. So anyway, let me see if I can be lucky and hunt down a really good one. And yeah, we'll tame it up. All right, guys, there we have it. Look at we got the sparklies and you can see the cannons on the left and right of its face. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that is definitely a primal trike. I ever seen one. Let's see if we can be lucky and get it knocked out. We've been having pretty good luck. This bow is just it's insane. It is absolutely insane. Oh, please tell me those things won't bother me. All right, come here, Mr. Trikey. Boom. Oh, oh, did you see that? Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, bro. Get, get. Holy crap. And we got it knocked out. Oh, that is insane, dude. You scared the crap out of me, ducky. Scared the crap out of me. 
Oh my goodness. All right. So let's go. Let's put in a this. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Look at that costume. Oh, what the crap? What the? Oh, Ferox, dude. No, 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 no. Get him, get him, get him. Holy crap, that could have been bad. That could have been so bad. Where did that Ferox come from? Oh my goodness. That was nuts. All right, anyway, let's scoop up our Primal Trike. Let's put him back on passive. Oh, and we got a 900 after the tame. That is so incredibly good. Oh, hello, bro. I don't have any element. I'm sorry. I really, I would totally give it to you if I had it, but I don't. I, I'm sorry. I don't have it. Go away. Ooh. All right. I, that was mean. You know what? I deserve that getting bit by the big bug. Because I should not have punched the cute little Ferox. I just his buddy. I don't know why his buddy got mad at me. That's kind of weird. Anyway. Um, yes, we got our primal drake. I wonder if there's any more good ones in the area. Because it would be kind of cool if we could breed them to get like a mega trike. I don't know. Maybe it could be a thing. Let me hunt around just a little bit more. Because if we get one, might as well get two. Ooh, look at this griffin. Oh, I can't wait till we get to the griffin. That's a prime griffin. What level is it? 520. Moving up. All right. So as I said, we are going to try and hunt down one more. Maybe we get lucky. All right, guys, I think that red one right there, I'm almost positive that's a primal trike. Let's just get these other guys out of the way. Gig cleared. Is that a primal trike? It is beautiful. Come on, do you, do you have the, yep, look at that. It's got the things on its head. All right, let's just make sure we got nameless. Get out of here, nameless. Let's get all the badness out of the way. Anything else? This guy's a little sketchier. These desert areas can be pretty, pretty bad. So we gotta be careful. All right, anyway, um, what is that thing? Ew, I don't know if those Ovis, I don't know if that's an Ovis that's with a nameless or if that's just an Ovis on its own. Oh, holy crap, holy crap. Oh, I bet you before the, uh, the trike, it probably hit the Ferox with its cannonball. I bet you that's what it was. It's gotta be. All right, get tamed. And we got it. What a beautiful day. I love it. And that's a beautiful color one too. All right, let's get packed up, Mr. Trike. Holy crud, I can't believe we got two of them. So that one was a 580, whereas the first one was a 600. So I mean, they're both good, but I think it will make amazing, amazing babies. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, I made up the saddles and just look at them. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. Special move. Boom. See, it shoots the cannons. Come on, do it again. Boom. It is so awesome. I totally, totally love it. All right. Anyway, let's get these two a breeding up. Um, Here's the deal. I thought this one was a female and the second one was then a male, but apparently they're both male. So here's going to be what we do. We have a gender paste, which is part of the Froggy Mac Kibble Station mod. And boom, this one is now a female. So we can breed them. Isn't that awesome? All right. So anyway, enable mating and enable mating. Very nice. Let's see how it's doing. All right, it should be Prego in no time. In fact, no, no, no. It's gonna do an egg, isn't it? Oh my goodness, it's gonna do an egg. And you know what I forgot to set up? When I moved, I totally forgot to set up the ACs. So why don't we do that now? Let's see, will the AC reach to here? Is that a thing, is it powered? Yep, it's powered. All right, perfect. We'll go two like that and we'll go one, two. Awesome. All right, we are golden. I will see you back in just a few minutes. All right, here we go. 95, 96, any second now, we are gonna get an awesome egg. Come on. Yeah, and of course, had to be a big turd there too. That's so gross. Seriously, so gross. All right, let's get this egg plopped down over here. And I guess we can let them breed again. I mean, why not? 
Why the crap not? And, ooh, under five minutes. Not bad. All right, it's not quite ready to hatch yet, but we're about to get another egg, like, really, really soon. And there's another thing that we hadn't been using the last few seasons, but we now have this season. And that is from the Eco Tech Mod. Let's see if we can actually craft this, because it would be amazing. Utility, yes, we should be able to. Let's get two of them. One and a two. Awesome. This way we can get both eggs to hatch out at basically the same time. So let's pick you up. You gonna have your egg yet? Almost there. Come on, come on. All right, no more turd this time. All right, egg incoming. Ready for it? Yes! All right, so we got two eggs now. All right, Mama, you, you had enough eggs. No more, no more. This is gonna be a breeding frenzy otherwise. Disable mating and disable mating. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and set these up. Let's go a one and a two. Beautiful, and these are, they're super cool looking. Um, just toss the egg right in there and it will incubate it all the way down to, it's either zero or one. See there, it says 96. It'll bring it all the way. I can't remember if it's zero or one. It's probably one, but it will bring it all the way down so that we can hatch both the eggs at the same time. And I can also AFK and not worry about missing it. So it should be pretty cool. I'll see you back once they're ready. All right, I think we are good to go. Let's check in the eggs and ooh, it does. It brings it down to zero. So it's it's going to insta hatch like insta hatch the second we drop it out of our inventory. Are we ready for it? And bam, bam, insta hatches. Look at that. Oh, we got one of each. Ooh, a 906. That's really good. And a 985. I dig it. I totally dig it. Now, for the babies. Here, come turn this way, babies. Turn this way. All right, very nice. Um, in Pug, it automatically turns off the uh, the wandering, which is super nice. So very handy. I wish it was like that in normal vanilla. Look at them, though. They're adorable. Seriously, very adorable. Um, we're going to be able to Instagram them up. Yeah, by using the grow pace. So, bada bing. And that will... Also, fully imprint them. And can I get in your inventory? Is this the, yep, yeah, 906. It's too bad it's not the other way around. I would have liked the fully red one to be fully grown, but awesome. All right, let's go do their saddles. I did augment them already. Very nice. All right, oh no, you're stuck. You're stuck, bro, you're stuck. All right, let's tell him to follow me. Come here, come here. Let's see if it can get out itself. You really got to go far away for it to work. Come on. Are, are you following me? All right, I guess they can both follow me. Are you, are you coming out? You, they're too stuck on each other. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what is your deal? Why are you so stuck? Let's put your saddle on. All right, very nice. And, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. It's got a little jump. It's got a little jump. That's so silly. All right, and boom. All right, very cool. So let's find out which one's better so we can decide which one we're going to level up. We're going to have the imprinting boost now, so they're going to be better than the parents no matter what. And I'm going to assume, I don't know. Let's not judge it yet. Let's see. 123. Oh, 127. No way. The lower level one has a higher melee. Did it get a mutation? 127, 123, no, nope, nope, nope. All right, very cool. So we are gonna use the fully red one. I love it. Now, other cool things. We've already unlocked a whole bunch of skins, which I'm hoping will work on this guy. So there is this skin. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and craft this up and check it out. There's also probably the bone skin, I think. Anyway, all right, very cool, look at that. Oh, this came out, I think, in Pug before these guys were, like, in the game, you know, in modded. So that's pretty cool. I got a different look there. Very nifty. Um, Next up, can we take that off, please? All right. Next up, we have the Corrupted costume. Oh, that looks really cool, too. 
I like it. I definitely like it. The corrupted trike. All right. And then one more. There is the tech corrupted. Oh, that looks awesome. I think that's going to be how we go. Totally. Oh, my goodness. Um, Should we give it a little bit of color, though? Yeah, let's let's check it out. Let's go grab some paint from in here. Let's grab some red and let's see if we can color all the just the hopefully we can do it. Just the tech parts to be red. So let's see. Did that make any changes? Didn't see any. Oh, yep. OK, that did the legs. Cool. That did more of it. All right, cool. That did more of it. Cool. That did. Do we want to change that up? No, we can leave that black. And what did that one do? And that's black already, I think. Let's just see. Let's look at it. How does that look? Um, We'll do that bottom part of the tail red, too. Why not? All right. And that was the tail. Let's zoom in more so we can see. There's that and that. Yeah, this one. Awesome. All right, exit out. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. I love it. This is definitely going to be how we go. All right, cool. And you know what? Just so that you can have not feel left out, why don't you take that one? Awesome. I am totally digging our new trikes. All right, so let's toss that in there. Oh, and let's toss the skin in here. All right, we're good to go, guys. We are totally good to go. We've got the saddle already done. Yeah! All right, so now comes the fun parts. Let's find out what this guy can do. So it obviously harvests berries. Can it get rocks? Oh my goodness, and it gets stone. That's pretty insane. All right, let's make our way up. I can't believe it gets stone too. If it gets metal also, I mean, come on now, that's, that's pretty incredible. All right, so right click do anything. The right click also gets berries and stuff. I assume the right click is also gonna be what can harvest, hopefully harvest uh, like corpses for their, their hide and everything. Let's see. Oh, it didn't harvest. Nope. But the left click does, interesting. All right, 600, 700. So the right click on this guy might actually be stronger. All right, let's see. All right, we're getting more stone. Do we get do we get metal? All right, let's see what happens. If I hit with left click, nothing. Right click. Okay, it's just straight stone. So no metal getting. No metal getting at all. What about the cannons? It blew it up. Did that actually get stone? No, that is so cool that it blows it up though. I think it, it will I guess it would mimic a cannonball. I, I think that's what it would do. But yes, because this guy has portable cannonballs, we'll actually be able to use it for knocking out rock golems. I'm surprised it doesn't do torpor to oop, torpor to these guys. It, I would think that it should do a blunt force torpor. But anyway, we are golden. We got a jump, which is super cool. Oh, it's a vulture. I was trying to figure out what that even was. What were you even, bro? All right, cool. So we, we almost, I'm surprised they allow you to have it do rocks because it kind of makes it like, well, why do you need a rock column then? You know what I mean? It's kind of bizarre, but is what it is. Anyway, let's get our leveling up shenanigans. Let's start to go, I guess, um, melee. Melee is always good. Now, do the cannonballs level up with it still? We got to find something we can hit. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Let's get something bigger. And I think we're going to want to do speed, too. All right. Coming through. Coming through. What's down here? All right. We got some potential victims. Probably got to get pretty close. All right. Let's try it. Ooh, a thousand now. All right. Let's see if it continues to go up. All right. Getting wrecked. And it's getting, again, only stone. Oh, oh. Carcanos. Harkonos. See, it only did 600 on him. Oh, look it. We could use this guy potentially to get a Karkonos. No way. No way. 
No way, come on. Dude, that is so cool. Oh, the king of execution. Let's be careful about that. I don't want him executing us by mistake. All right. Very cool. So, yeah, a lot of uses. Also, potential, I mean, a titanosaur, too. That would make getting a titanosaur pretty easy. Of course, I think all these things are a lot of these things you can just use the arrows for and pug. But I like it. Just for getting stone alone, this is a total win. All right, let's do a few more. Holy crap, look at all the level ups we got. Now, remember, we do have the dino mind wipe. So if I ever over boosted in a stat, I can always mind wipe it. Oh, crap. We got a leech. Seriously, bro. Uh, where's leech settings? Particles, wandering, ride, hold to remove leech. Poor baby. You had a leech on you. We got it off that nasty thing. All right. Is it doing more than a thousand? I didn't even see a damage indicator there. Ooh, so I guess it caps off at a thousand. Interesting. I didn't think that was going to be the case. In the past, I thought that it actually went up. So, I don't know. Either way, it's cool. It's probably better off it does that because we'd end up killing stuff. Ooh, a thousand. Yeah, that's where it's at. This is definitely the speed we want to be going. Come on, get the Carcanos. I love it and that we can also harvest the polymer. How is it swimming? It's a pretty good swimmer, too. Man, this thing is awesome. It's got to be the coolest trike I've ever owned. I mean, seriously, normally I don't even bother with trikes because, I mean, you know, they're nice for like the first few days until you get just about anything else that's better. Oh, man, but look at how much this guy's hitting for. It's a beast. Absolute beast. Oh, I love it. All right, so I guess let's make our way into the desert and uh, look at this. I can use this as like an underwater mount. It's so good and it can attack underwater. Ooh, Leo Pluridon. Get annihilated. Oh, I love this guy so much. It is so much fun. But as I said, let's get into the desert and uh, let's start to really power level this guy. All right, guys, arriving at the desert, and we got a Titanosaur. I definitely want to check that out. Ooh, and a Giga, too. Nice. I brought up my health. We're at like half a million. Holy crap. We just run through them. Uh, I think we're going to whoop this Titanosaur's butt. If all goes, oh, 17 more levels. Look at that. Oh, just one shy of 100 points in the melee. This is so good. All right, come here. Let's peeve off the Titanosaur. Boom! Ooh, this guy definitely resists. All right, doing good. So the left click is hitting for 279. Right click, ooh. Okay, the right click is more powerful. Good to know, at least against Titanosaur. Nice, we whooped him. We are doing so good, guys. All right, let's power on. My goodness. All right, what else we got going on in the desert today? We're at a thousand movement speed. I don't think we should go any faster than that. I think a thousand is plenty good. All right, let's go. What do we got? Mammoth. We want to. Oh, there we go. We want to try and take on as many titanosaurs and primals as possible. That is going to be what helps us out. All right, sweet. Now for a little level up session, do what's kind of cool. Check this out. Toggle damage numbers potion. I keep forgetting to show you guys this, but now we can go and attack and it won't show the damage numbers until we toggle it again. So very cool. Yes, we can finally see what's going on. Oh, such a good thing. That's actually something that I requested Mr. Fister, the mod author, add. And that is a standalone mod. And by the way, guys, I apologize. So far this season, I think for may, all but maybe a few episodes, I've been putting the wrong link in the description. It is now updated. It was yesterday. It is for today. And from here on out, it includes the mod list, the Steam link to the mod list of all the mods that we're using. So I do apologize about that. I saw you guys saying in the comments and I don't know. I was just like, I changed it already. I don't know what they're talking about. But then I went back and checked and I'm like, oh, derp made a mistake so it's fixed now anyway so i hope you guys enjoy and i apologize for those of you that have been waiting 
All right, another Titanosaur. Dude, this is so ridiculous. All right, come here, Giga. Get wrecked. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's weird without the damage numbers, though, to know how hard we're actually hitting. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, another 70 levels. And we're probably gonna get even more from that, just doing that Titanosaur. They might not have come in yet. All right, we are on our way. I think we're probably gonna get to max today with how this is working out. I am digging it. All right, come on, Mr. Bronto. Let's do another cannon. Boom, right in the chest. Gotcha. All right, so what else we got around here? Any more primals? Not seeing too much. Let's continue on even further. I'm not sure how the wyverns do in this mod pack. Sometimes mods do, or sometimes wyverns give like crazy XP, but it hasn't seemed like it here. So I don't even know if they're worth it. All right, titanosaurs are what we want. Titanosaurs and gigas. All right, the mechs don't seem like they give very much either. It's kind of disappointing, but I guess the mechs aren't that hard to get. All right, boom. Was that enough to get him? <laughs> Look at that, he just explodes. Ooh, Basilisk, come here, bro. All right, anything else, anything else? The Titanosaur should pop up. Ooh, a tumultuous Rex. We gotta think about what type of Rex we wanna do first. There is the tumultuous, there is the zombie, and then there's also the conflagrate Rex. I was thinking about doing a Rex today, but I decided, nah, we'll hold off a little bit longer. A little bit longer before we get to the, the super powerful creatures. All right, get the mech and another titanosaur. All right, come here, buddy, bro. Come get some. Boom. Oh, I love that cannon. Be cool if we could run across a rock golem while we're here, but I think we might hold off for that until tomorrow so we can really focus on them. All right, anything else interesting around here? I'm trying to think, there's really, this seems like the best place to get Titanosaur on the map. Um, usually there's a couple of places, but yeah, this desert is just the best. Dude, this is cool. Look at this, a zombie uh, calico. Dude, I would totally like to get one of those. We'll have to check one of those out later. And what level are you? Don't wanna get, oh, 580. I'll leave you be, bro. I'll leave you be. You are just a beautiful creature. All right, carrying on. Oh, there's a rock golem. I wonder what level it is. A 540. All right, I want to try and do better than a 540 when we get one, because they are a pain in the butt. But let's uh, let's see how it how it works. Is this going to be viable? Ooh, ooh, crap! Hit the wrong button. All right, come here, bro. Oh, look at that, dude. Yeah, we're totally going to be able to do it. That is awesome. Just walking backwards and because the uh, the cannons don't go up in melee, it's actually gonna be decent. It's gonna be easy. It's not gonna kill them for sure. This is the way to do it. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. So cool. And almost done. Almost done. We got this! Boom! And final hit, final hit. We'll get him knocked out. Bam! Knocked out, bro. What's up now? All right, we're going to be looking for a 580 or a 600, though. Oh, but I'm so happy that works. I'm so pleased. All right, how are we doing? Not going to be at max yet, but we are getting so ridiculously close. So crazy close. All right, I'm gonna go uh, run around the desert, see if I can get some more Titanosaurs to spawn in, and I'll see you guys right back. All right, guys, we, uh, yeah, we're in a little bit of a predicament. Dude, cut it out. Oh my goodness, I started getting bored of the desert. There is just no more Titanosaurs that were showing up. So I figured another good way, we could just follow these lakes and see if we can find primal Carcanos and things like that. Cause those give major XP too. And they're really easy to see the way they stand out. 
Anyway, how are we doing? We're really close, guys. We only have 16, I think, more levels to go. Oh my goodness, we could do it together, guys. We could do it together. All right, and any, of course there's no more. There was like a slew of Karkonos, and then of course none of them show up. All right, we got one level. Come on, getting so close, guys. Let's make our way through here. Hopefully Spinos give good XP. They gotta give something. All right, moving through. I wonder if I swim faster than I walk. It's so silly on a trike, you know? But that tail, it's just got the tail action. All right, coming through. Ooh, 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 there's a Carcanos. I don't know if it's a Primal. The Primals are where the XP's at. All right, is that a... Yep, it is. Boom, get wrecked. It's kind of weird. I don't know why the Primal Carcanos don't give uh, Polymer. It would be super nice if they did too. But they don't, at least not currently. Um, I heard there's going to be a lot of awesome changes in the next Pug update. Um, the way Pug works, instead of some mod authors like to do updates like uh, a lot, like it almost seems like daily while I play it, which can get to be really annoying because then you got to restart the server every single time. Whereas with Pug, how it works, holy crap. Holy crap. All right, let's see if we can get this turkey. Let's see if we can get him without dying. Come on. You got this, bro. You got it. We got it. Awesome. Uh, with Pug, it's, you know, maybe like once a month or something like that. Or, you know, it, it's not done constantly. So usually a bunch of stuff is completed in the update. But anyway, uh, a lot of cool changes that we had wanted will be in there. For one, the Giganto, I believe, the Gigantopithecus, the Bigfoot, it should be able to now strafe left and right, which is super cool. Um, the Dynons, hopefully, are going to get fixed on Crystal Isles. Um, amongst a bunch of other stuff. We'll talk about it once the updates actually come out. But really cool um, that Mr. Fister is actually getting into change and stuff. So I'm digging it. Um, how are we doing? Oh, I think we got it. Glad we checked. And one, two, three, four, and five. Max attack. Beautiful. All right. Let's just go. Doesn't need meat. Let's see now what we're actually hitting for. Now that we're at max attack. I'm curious. Oh, 708 and 787. Not bad. And oh, it did like nothing. Get exploded. Did I not kill? Oh, I got him. Awesome. Well, I dig him. I was hoping to get up to a million, but you know what? Not everybody can be at a million. But this trike is just so amazing. All the different abilities. It's got it all. I am loving it. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it's that time. Let's go ahead back to the base. Of course, now a Titanosaur shows up. Are you serious, bro? Are you kidding me? That's a zombie one, too. Let's get it. We're still going to be able to absolutely annihilate it with how much we do. Boom! I love how the Gigas, the bone ones, they're like top and bottom jaw. Once they uh, once they croak, they get all funny looking. It's super funny the way they ragdoll. All right, we good? We good. All right, let's go through the comments, guys. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments, and yes, it is that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos! For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right, just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you gotta be a subscriber, so smash that subscribe button and you gotta comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have... Let's go check it out. We have the Tumultuous Savers to name. So, their names will be none other than... Thunderfang, Electro, and Zeus. Love it. Epic names, guys. Seriously, epic names. Totally love it. For next episode, we need names for our four primal trikes. That's right. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I can't wait to see what their names are. Also, can't wait to see what other progress we get on the base. But anyway, guys, 
Thank you always so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.